Bush has to go. Someone somehow has to stop him and his criminal advisers. The New Yorker has called for his impeachment as a war criminal. He is sending us all on the road to Armageddon as an Armageddon out of here. Bush's newest outrage has again inflamed national fear. He claims cheese-laden terrorists are practicing bombing runs through a dozen U.S. airports. Cheese? Well, it resembles explosives, especially if it's that stinky kind. And the bullheaded and he bullheadedly refuses to accept his Iraq surge is now in ruins. Although yesterday he had the stupendous goal to lie again. He repeated that Saddam had teamed up with Al-Qaeda on 9-11, although that claim has long been dismissed as nonsense, even by top investigators in his own administration. These new outbursts indicate he's getting into a deeper and deeper quagmire. An astounding three-quarters of US voters think he's doing a lousy job. An eminent group of 27 retired diplomats and generals said, Never in the two and a quarter centuries of our history has the United States been so isolated among nations, so broadly feared and distrusted. London's Mayor Ken Livingston, a man famous for his reticence and understatement, put it this way, Bush is the greatest threat to life on this planet. The policies he is initiating will doom us to extinction. Pretty tough. But Bush is right about one thing. Um, Al-Qaeda is now in Iraq, helping the insurgents rout the world's most powerful army. The Viet Cong and guerrilla forces throughout history have proved you're a fool to fight a conventional war against an unconventional army of liberation. As I remind the US in my book, Am I Dead Yet? A Journalist's Perspective on Terrorism, why on earth doesn't the US study what happened in Vietnam? There is the answer. You killed two million Vietnamese. You lost 50,000 of your own. And what did you achieve? International humiliation and defeat. And Bush has taken you down the same road again and refuses to turn back. He must be stopped at all costs. At all costs. He has already fomented such a venomous hatred of the West it may result in retaliation the likes of which we can't imagine yet. One thought though, Iran's bomb is apparently coming along very well, thank you.